In Gaza's Khan Yunus, a bulldozer clears the rubble of a house hit by an airstrike. Israel kept up its heavy bombardment of targets throughout Gaza overnight on Saturday. That's after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to fight until victory, following the release of the first two hostages held by Gaza's ruling Hamas group. Israel's military said fighter jets had struck a large number of Hamas targets throughout the Gaza Strip. In Khan Yunus, Isaldin al Fara said he was one of 24 people who lived in this destroyed building. He asked what any of them had done to Israel. The Israeli military reported a fresh salvo of attacks from Gaza against southern Israeli border communities before dawn, and later sirens sounding in the port city of Ashdod to the north of the Palestinian enclave. There was no immediate word of casualties in either incident. On Friday, Hamas released Americans Judith Renan and her teenage daughter Natalie, the first hostages confirmed by both sides to have been freed. They were among 200 kidnapped in an October 7th cross-border attack by Hamas militants, in which 1,400 people, mainly civilians, were killed. It was the deadliest single attack on Israelis since the country's founding 75 years ago. Gaza's health ministry said Israel's retaliatory air and missile strikes have killed more than 4,000 Palestinians, including hundreds of children. Over a million of the besieged enclave's 2.3 million population are reported to have been displaced. The United Nations Humanitarian Affairs Office said more than 140,000 homes, nearly a third of all homes in Gaza, had been damaged, with nearly 13,000 completely destroyed. International attention has been focused on getting aid to Gaza through the one access point not controlled by Israel. On Saturday, the first trucks carrying aid passed through the Rafah border crossing with Egypt. The UN said the 20-truck convoy included life-saving supplies that would be received by the Palestinian Red Crescent. Hamas said the delivery, which follows days of diplomatic wrangling, included medicine and limited amounts of food. UN officials say at least 100 trucks a day are needed in Gaza to cover urgent needs, and that any delivery of aid needs to be sustained and at scale.